So in the DigitalOcean dashboard, click on Networking, and then click on Load Balancers. This is where we create load balancers, and let's click on this button here. Let's call it Pentacode LB. So here in the Add Droplet screen, this is where I can add the droplet uh, tag in here. So it will put those droplet servers behind this load balancer. So I am going to put the three test server that I set up just now in here. Now under forwarding rules, you can ask the load balancer to forward traffic from a specific port into a different port in your droplet. Usually when a person requests your website, the port is 80. Now if you want uh, DigitalOcean to forward this 80 uh, request from port 80 into another port in your droplet, you can certainly specify here. But I'm going to leave it as the default because port 80 is the default port. Under advanced settings, you can do much more with this load balancer. The default algorithm is called round robin. This means when the first person hits your load balancer, it will route the traffic to the to app, uh, application server one. The next person hits it, it goes to application server two, and the next person hits it again, it goes to application server three. And then it starts from one again. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three. Now you can change it to other algorithms in the settings, but I'm going to leave it as round robin. Sticky session is for if you want a person to always go to a specific application during the routing process, meaning the load balancer will place a cookie on the user and this person will always hit, if, if, let's say the, when they hit the load balancer, if the first time it routes it to server two, they will, this person, the next time this person refresh the website, it will always hit the server two, meaning you can basically divide your user traffic into three equal parts. Help check is the port, the, the, the check that the load balancer uses on your server to see if it's healthy or not. Sometimes your server has problems and it goes down. It will use this URL to check the server, the port and the health. You can see, uh, see that in the dashboard later on. So let's just create a load balancer by clicking on create load balancer. Now this will take a few minutes for the load balancer to start. Uh, it usually takes about a minute or two, which is very fast. Then DigitalOcean gives you this nice UI to show you the pro progress of this load balancer. And you can actually view droplets associated with the load, load balancer and you can view the graphs for each, for the, how well the server is performing. So this is really nice. So I haven't checked how this, if they offer the servers where you can put load balancer in front of load balancer, which is quite a bit uh, tricky. So I'll let you guys know what I found out. Also some of the feedback that I get from the channel is that my text is very small when I do the tutorial. So I this time I zoom in a little bit and so you, hopefully you guys can see the text a little bit better on if you're on a mobile device or smaller smaller view viewport. Um, I I read every comment you guys made and I'm always welcome suggestions to the channel. So please give me feedback and I really would like to improve the website and the channel as much as I can. So it seems like the low balancers is ready. So we can click into it. So there's a bug right now for DigitalOcean in way it says down, but it's not really really down. So if I refresh it, it should say healthy. Or well, maybe it takes a few minutes, a few seconds for it to check the health of the servers. But as you can see, it lists all my servers, application servers in them. And then it tells you the health check, the downtime, how long it's been down and stuff. So when one of your servers go down, the load balancer will automatically traffic reroute the traffic to only two healthy servers. So it will only route the traffic to healthy servers. If the server is bad, it will not route any traffic to them. So this will almost guarantee uptime uptime for your server and your website. So you don't lose any customers or potential visitors. And there you go. So after a few seconds, it's all healthy. So this means I can now go to the IP address of the load balancer 
and it should route the traffic correctly. So if I go here, it says hello from server 1. So if I refresh again, see it goes to server 2 and goes to server 3. So it just keeps on continue doing that for all the requests coming in. So this is really, really neat. And I love how easy it is to create load balancer. And you can basically scale your website to as big as you want now. This is really amazing. One last thing, now this IP here, you can probably take this and put that as your website's IP. So when the person go to www.yourwebsite.com, it will hit the load balancer instead of these applications. So now you have a high scalable server uh, infrastructure set up and your website will never go down again. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit Pentaco website and I will see you guys next time.